whether it be ketchup or sour cream and an onion, my flavored potato chip recipe seemed to be pretty successful. And my views are dropping pretty rapidly and I need another success in my hands. Let's make salt and vinegar chips. Now to begin, grab yourself two russet potatoes and peel them. Next, grab yourself a mandolin slicer and set it to slightly less than one eighth of an inch. Safe, well, safety first. And if anyone gives you crap about being overprotective and having to wear a slicing glove, tell them that it's human nature. All right, once our chips are sliced and diced, dump them in a bowl full of cold water and let these soak for an hour. All right, after an hour, lay out some kitchen towels and lay our potato chips out so they can dry. I feel like a Vegas poker dealer. Oh, and uh, you know those hot Vegas waitresses with the huge cleavage? There's more to that than sex appeal. They want you to get distracted so it's harder for you to count cards. What does this have to do with potato chips? Nothing, I just wanted to put boobs in my video. Place another towel on top of it. Pat it dry, and start again with a new batch. All right, once our potato slices are nice and dry, it's time to move to the stove. I have here a Dutch oven filled halfway up with frying oil and a, and a seasoning bowl. And well, you know our seasoning, salt and vinegar. Now you can use regular vinegar, but I highly recommend malt vinegar. It has this extra savory depth to it that regular vinegar just doesn't possess. Put some in a spray bottle for easy application. Now, we want the temperature to come up to 375. Did you try to flee Afghanistan by clinging to the wings of a US carrier jet? The number you're looking for is 185 degrees Celsius. Okay, it, all right, once it comes up to temp, add in a handful of our chips. Add them in gently, otherwise you're going to splash oil everywhere and you're going to be standing like an angry Russian Minecraft kid. <laughs> okay, once they're golden brown like this, take them out of the fryer. Toss them into our seasoning bowl. Spray them with vinegar. Toss in some salt. Give everything a nice shake. And place them on a paper towel lined cooling sheet. Just like that, our briny and acidic potato chips are ready to go. What? You expect me to say something funny? I'm starving! This has been Jay's Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok and support me on Patreon. You're still not up to temp yet? Come on.